And we thank you all for coming this evening to the program Remember the Children, which is part of the series First Nations Rights, The Gap Between Law and Practice. We are honored to present this series with our co-sponsors, Lawyers Rights Watch Canada, the Hulquim... I said, did no, I practice that? Hulquiminum, Hulquiminum, is that right? Hulquiminum Treaty Group and Amnesty International. Inspiring people to learn is one of the public library's four strategic priorities. And through events like this one, we're proud to provide opportunities for individuals of all ages to pursue personal interests, explore the world, and current events, and discover the joy of learning. Before I introduce Leah George Wilson, former chief of the Tsleil-Waututh First Nation and current co-chair of the First Nation Summit, um, I would like to remind you to turn off your cell phones or anything that beeps or buzzes. Thank you. And I'll also mention a few upcoming programs at the Central Library. On May 7th, author Teres Gresko discusses his newest book, Strap Hanger, how subways, buses, and trains are saving our cities from the empire of the automobile. On May 29th, Building the Eighth Fire will continue the dialogue started by the CBC television series, Eighth Fire. It will be a panel discussion, including diverse First Nations voices, reflecting on the relations between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in Canada. If you're interested in these programs or in the many others offered at the Central Library, you'll find more information in our events brochure, this is the May events brochure, or online at bpl.ca. And now please join me in giving Ms. Wilson a warm welcome. ACM Nisiaya, I, Nishkwalum, E. Quick Quits Nalans, Anasia Ama, the Mina, Quet Sentoya, E. Siatmak Slahotia, the Amoth, Quet Hansakalo, E. Slahotia, Mita, Mita, Kutwilum, Tuna, Tamok, No Penelmok, Slavotith, Homakwian, Thank you to all of you. Um, greetings to our honored guests and my dear ones. I have good feelings in my heart to see all of you this evening. In our Coast Salish First Nation way, I told you what my name is. My name is Sitsia Ama. I told you who my parents are. I told you who my grandparents are. Because in, in our First Nations way, that places me on this genealogy map that we all carry around and on the off chance that there are people in the audience that know me and can report back. I'd like to welcome you to Coast Salish Traditional Territory, home of the Slaywta, the Squamish, and the Musqueam. Thanking all of you for joining us on this illustrious occasion. Thank you. Good evening everybody. I will keep this short so we can give most of our content to our uh, uh, our guest speaker tonight, uh, on behalf of uh, the sponsors of this event, Amnesty International, Laura's Rights Watch, Canada, the Vancouver Public Library, and the Hulk Amino Treaty Group. We are so happy that you're out here tonight. This is the fifth of our lecture series, and for each one, the numbers keep getting bigger and bigger, and so we're very excited uh, that you're here tonight. And I also have the pleasure of introducing tonight's guest speaker, uh, Ms. Cindy Blackstock. Cindy is the Executive Director for the First Nations Child and Family Care and Society of Canada, as well as an Assistant Professor at the University of Alberta. Uh, a member of the Gitsan Nation, she has worked in the field of child and family services for over 20 years. Uh, an author of over 50 publications, her key interests include exploring and addressing the causes of disadvantage for Aboriginal children and families. Um, Cindy has almost single-handedly focused public attention on such of the compelling examples of injustice against First Nations children, which include, but are not limited to, uh, the jurisdictional wrangling that denies adequate health care to youth, uh, the discriminatory underfunding for child protection services, and the denial of the fundamental human right of safe and adequate schooling uh, needed to achieve an education. Uh, tonight, we are very lucky to see, uh, that Cindy will be talking about the historic case 
that the Assembly of First Nations and the First Nations Child and Family Care and Society of Canada, her organization, have taken to the Canadian Human Rights Commission against the federal government for underfunding of child care services. And the timing could not be any better because if you've been following the news, just two weeks ago uh, there was a recent court victory for, uh, for this case, which I'm sure Cindy will talk about. Um, Amnesty has had the great pleasure of working with her in the past, and I'd like to thank her on behalf of our co-sponsors and our organization for your commitment, your drive, and your uh, dedication to human rights work. So ladies and gentlemen, Cindy Blatsoff.